So from a public work standpoint, there are occasions where we have issues taking tons of data, just raw data, and condensing that down into a form that is understandable and relatable to our elected bodies. Now, uh, we found that one effective way to do that uh, is to create an executive summary which lays out, here's what we did, here's why we did it, here's what we found, and here's our recommended actions moving forward. Behind that executive summary, in that technical report, you would have uh, basically a listing of all those different issues. Here, we looked at this particular problem, we found this and this and this, and here's our recommended fixes for those. So you would have an executive summary, which is a very high level, here's what we looked at, here's what we found, here's a rough cost estimate for what it's gonna be. Then you break that down into the different segments behind it. And then at the tail end of this, you would have that wonderful technical appendix, which has all the rest of that raw data that was used to generate the information in that report. Uh, we have found uh, in our experience that the executive summary is what gets read. And I'd love for you to, to fill me in on when we give you a report like that, what are you looking for in that report? So you're exactly right. We're looking for that executive summary to start with. Um, you will have some council members that want to read every word that's in that document, uh, but that's a real small minority. Uh, what most of the elected officials are looking for is what is the important data? What is the impact on the public? And how do I explain this to the public? What kind of impact is it going to have on them? Is there going to be a tax increase or utility rate increase? Is there going to be a disruption of service? Is there going to be anything that might impact them? And how do I get that point across? Because that's what the public cares about and, and to a large extent what the elected officials care about. As we're reading the executive summaries, a lot of times I'll either have uh, oh, a verification moment like, Really, they did that? Let me go find that. And I'll look down in the data and I'll see that. Another, other times I'll have questions that come up. And so I'll try to attempt to find the answers to my questions, but a lot of times I'll just go to the staff uh, because it's more trouble to find it in the hundreds and hundreds of lines of data than it is for me to pick up the phone and give you a call and get the answers to the questions. So I think the data is important, but the executive summary is very important, especially how it's presented. Uh, if it answers all of my questions that I'm concerned yeah. about, then the executive summary is perfect. And I think there's another element here as well, and uh, it's kind of unspoken at this point, but there's a trust level uh, between the elected official and staff level. Uh, and that trust is built over a period of time. It's, it's not one of those things that's immediately given, it's, it's earned. Uh, so we have to remember from a public servant standpoint that we always have to be forthright. We have to tell you what is actually happening. We have to give you correct information. We have to make sure that we are presenting to you the best information that we can based on what we know. Um, I like to use the example, if you don't know the answer, yeah, don't give one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. It, I do not know is an acceptable answer in most cases. Uh, or if you need to go look at something else before answering, feel free to do that. Uh, because I know during my time in public service, I would much rather tell you what I know is right than to guess. And that's what elected officials want too. I perfectly accept... I don't know, but I can get you that answer. That's perfectly fine with me. Rather than, I think it might be, no, I don't need the, I think, I need the no. So, right. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, and trust is a big deal uh, with the council. If the elected body trusts their staff, then they're gonna read that ex executive summary and go, this is a no-brainer. But if there's a little bit of doubt 
then they're going to try to start picking it apart. And it's like pulling a thread, then it might get really enormous when it's really not. 